Jim. Hey, hey, Ian. Are you definitely in a house? I am. Well, and you've got chewing gum. I have no chewing gum. Uh, Have you got onions? I've got oranges, lots of oranges. Oh, for God's sakes. This is a te... What... What are you going to do with oranges? I could peel an orange and I could pretend it's an onion and then we could set up the whatever you want to do and see and see if it works. No, but what, what I want to do, Jim, requires onions and chewing gum. But I'm being um, shanghai into this. I didn't phone to take part in this experiment. Well, what did you phone? Be with you in a second, Barry. All right. What did you phone for? Well, um, there's an old saying, to know your onions. And as you're oh. talking about onions, I just wondered where this came from. <laughs> because obviously, Jesus. Barry knows all about onions. Of course I do. Yeah, there's red onions and white onions. But I don't think the saying applies to onions. I think it applies to... Uh, There's more than that, my friend. Yeah, but where did it come from? To did know it... your onions. Yeah, did Barry, it... can I ask you just to put your mouth, I don't know, near the phone or something? Oh, I'm a bit far away, am I? Well, is this, is it really, is this a, the phone you normally call on? Because it sounds rubbish. Is it? Can you hear me now? Sort of. I can hear you clearly, Barry. All right. Well, Barry, tell, ex- explain to Jim where to know your onions comes from and the different types of onions. Um, well, let's, let's first things first. Spring. Oh, spring onions. Oh, yeah, yeah spring onions. Yeah. Spanish. Spanish. Oh, Spanish onions. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shallots. Look. French onions. Are they, an, are they an onion? Shallots. Yeah, are they? From the onion family. <laughs> family d'oignon. Okay, okay. I, 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 like, I, I like those. I like them shallots. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I hate onions. Mm. Uh, yes. Good. So, um, to know your onions, well, it's, it's a very interesting thing. I'd like to offer up some... You literally know your onions, don't you, Barry? I literally know my onions. I've named four. Yes. Um, but where the expression comes from, I've no idea. OK, disappointing. Right, so, Jim, you haven't got any onions. I've got no onions. Right, I'm cutting you off. This is, now, this is all backfired terribly, Barry. This is, uh, was Chris's idea yeah. to find out which uh, method of peeling onions works yeah. the best, whether the, the spoon in the mouth or the chewing gum. Now, Chris, are they the only people that called in? Yeah. Right, well, we need two more onion peelers. 0845 what? 60, oh. steady on, 60973. We need two more onion peelers to take part in the great onion experiment of, of 2007 on LBC 97.3, home of the onions, London's biggest onion. Do you want me to do the onion test? Because I was going to talk about the toilet. Have you got an onion? Well, I'll have a look. I'll go back in the kitchen. Have a little look. It's got to be a white onion. Let's have a look. And then have you got any chewing gum? That's the free. I've got a wooden spoon. OK, well, that's a, well, that's a start. OK. Have a look. I've got a... Yeah, white onion. It's a cooking onion. Well, right. Hang on. Chris, can you take line five? See if they... See if they, either of these two lines have got chewing gum and an onion, because then we can do... Uh, ideally, I want to do them to, both at the same time, but it's, um... It's looking like this has been an awful, awful idea. Yeah, it's not going all that well. We'll try and salvage something. Well, we'll see what we can we can get out, out of the, the, the dregs of my career. But you called in about the toilet book as well, did you? I found in the ba- being on the toilet. OK. Being on, I'm not going to say nothing. Don't worry. OK. Oh, no, no, the daddy, brilliant. daddy. OK. When my Margaret's sitting on the toilet... Yes. Um. I'm not, well, I'm not going to go into detail, but she's in our toilet, you know. Yes. Sometimes, and, and some ladies might find this situation. Yes. She's got a copy of a magazine. Right. Woman's Own, Take yeah. a Break, yes. such like. Oh, Pete's called in with an onion. Oh, Pete's just put the phone down. Nuts. Ca- uh, carry on with the story then, Barry. She very often finds it rather off-putting when someone's looking out from the magazine. Right, yes. At her. Ah, uh, well, yes, I'd imagine she, she would. She sees up. Right. Quickly put Pete through, Chris. She yes. sees his right, right up. Yeah, the, the magazine, like if Jordan or someone is... Yeah, looking out looking at her. Out. Quickly, Chris, put Pete through. An attractive man. Man, yes. 
And she finds that she... Well, it seizes... Well, yes. not it. She right. Seizes. Right. Anne, have you got an onion? Right up. No, ba- Barry, and should... Uh, like... uh, no, Barry, have you got... Uh, Anne, have you got an onion? No. <laughs> oh, for goodness and sakes. It's like... Right, OK. Right, Barry, we're going to let you go. Get in the marshmallow. OK, lovely, 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 lovely. <laughs> well, that backfired horribly. <laughs> Anne. Yes. You're a lady. Yes. Do you have a book in the toilet? 